It's interesting to see Little Goody Two Shoes end up in the public discourse right as I'm beginning to wrap up production on American Evil because it actually was a very influential mm-hmm. title for me, right? Because playing this game, you know, getting into it, enjoying the survival mechanics, uh, getting into the plot and the themes, and have it be, having it be ruined by one very specific thing was kind of an eye-opening experience to me. No matter how good something is, no matter how creative it is, no matter how much it it tries to innovate and do something different and have, like, good ideas, it all falls apart by trying to push an agenda, trying to push the message. Because I think Little Goody Two Shoes had a lot going for it, right? You know, I like the sprite-based artwork. I like the themes and the ideas and, like, the the character even, uh, the protagonist of Elise, right? <laughs> but again, it is mired, it is bogged down by a very specific thing in that – it really tries very, very, very hard to push lesbianism as not only normal, but as, like, cool and desirable and as, like, uh, the preferable option over over what else happens in this game. And to me, you know, playing this game and uh, seeing how the characters treat each other and seeing how they act and seeing how the, the story plays out, like, it kind of dawned on me that, like, the Yuri elements were a major boat anchor on the plot and the story, right? Because we're really supposed to believe that Elise is has all these deep romantic relationships with all these all these different girls when in reality they're just friends right like i do think that is like the most important thing to take away from this is that like this story would have worked way better if it was about elise like putting aside her her desires for wealth and like uh not having to work in favor of like pursuing like uh you know being happy in her community with like the people that actually care about her right you know as a person you know people who love her as a friend but instead you get this weird warped perspective where like everything is like this weird like is weirdly gay and it seems like out of place and nonsensical and ridiculous right and it just completely ruins the entire experience because you just know that it's all fake. It's all forced, right? Like, it's all unbelievably gay. And it's interesting to me, like, kind of uh, seeing the reaction to uh, Square Enix, like, talking about this game openly and seeing, like, how many people actually agree with me. Because there are enablers to this, other men who who fetishize the idea of like oh a yuri is the purest form of love but like i think like it's interesting kind of seeing like the dichotomy between people who like uh, fetishize this shit and like worships it versus people who are like willing to call it out for what it is which is like pandering like a degenerate nonsense that doesn't make any sense and honestly like ruins the entire experience because like i said the game had a lot going for it right but when you look at when but when you look at like uh the reality of these kind of relationships and these kind uh this kind of uh style of gameplay like it it's at odds with like how uh with reality is is what I'm saying here. Like, yeah, there are a lot of things about Little Goody Two Shoes that do hit home, but for for this specific a- aspect, like specifically, it just destroys the entire thing. It's not real. Like, it doesn't it doesn't have any real basis in reality in that way. So again, um, I I'm very curious to see like how products like this will start being dismissed by the general public because when you compare something like this compared to like uh star wars the alkalite you know the alkalite has been like condemned by everyone it's trash it's terrible but like little goody two shoes in comparison was very well received and for good reason but at the same time i i do think this is kind of the the beginning of the end of the whole like fetishization of uh, lesbianism because the way this influenced my work, uh, American Evil, is that like it inspired a uh, it inspired a specific plot line or like an aspect of the of the Ignis culture, and 
to me, it's like, how many more people are like this? You know, how many more people are starting to see through like how fake and gay it all is, right? Like how forced, how like how out of touch with reality it is. Like I, uh, I came away with that impression, and by the looks of it, like plenty of other people did as well, right? Uh, it, it's interesting because. Like, they really tried as hard as they could to make this sound, like, come off as normal and natural as possible, and yet it just completely falls apart at the seams, right? This is not how things would play out realistically. Like, <laughs> I find it interesting how in these kind of Yuri games, there's a, they have to have no male characters around at all, because if they did, it would be very obvious very quickly that that there would be a more natural dynamic between the male and female characters. But but there isn't, right, in Little Goody Two-Shoes. Like, they had to just not give any any major male characters any screen time, you know, force the protagonist into, the, like, these lesbian situations with these lesbian love interests. And it, it just comes apart. Like, it just falls apart as just being completely ridiculous and absurd. I, uh, I do think um, this is... An example of just how this kind of thing needs to go to certain extremes to try and, and pass it off as normal. You know, having no male characters at all, having being completely at odds with um, with what the characters want and uh, and and what they value and stuff like that, right? Like uh, 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 the choice of a lease to like um. To pursue these kind of relationships is interesting because uh, she is meant to be a very selfish character, right? I think canonically, like, she's supposed to sacrifice the love interest in order to pursue, like, her dreams of, like, being wealthy or whatever. And, it like, and like the, the implication is that, like, it completely destroys her life, right? So I, I – um, yeah, I, I think, like, what the game is trying to do is, like, imply that she would be better off – with a lesbian <laughs> lover, but uh, it, it just doesn't work, right? Like it, it just, it just comes off as like completely nonsensical. For, for me, um, I, I'm very, I'm very interested in seeing just how the situation develops because uh, this was something that was pushed fairly hard by Square Enix. You know, it did reasonably well. People, people reasonably enjoyed it, right? Uh, you know, I reasonably enjoyed it, but uh, this is a massive boat anchor on the title that really needs to be addressed. Lesbians simply don't exist. <laughs>